Hello and welcome to a demo that I created to show how fast the validator that we are building at Magic Blog actually is. So as you can see on the bottom, you can see the key presses and the worm reacts immediately. And while I'm going on, I'm going to put this in autopilot. So first of all, yes, the video is not running at double speed. This is actually how fast it is. And no, the logic is not running in the client. Every time we want to update the state of the worm, we actually send a transaction to the validator. The validator is running our program, changes the state of the worm, and then the client receives an account update via subscription and just renders it. So if you want to change direction, for instance, uh, the transaction is sent to the validator and then the worm is rendered pointing a different way. And Periodically, the client also sends a transaction to the validator to update the position of the worm. And the program looks at where the worm is facing at, updates the position, updates the account. And now this validator will be used for you to build games on. Magic Block is providing this validator for everyone who wants to build games like this, or probably even cooler ones, but basically games that need low latency. And Lucid will also use this validator under the hood to make local development even faster. So I'm taking development at light speed to hard. Let's talk a little bit about these statistics that's showing on top here. Well, actually, first of all, let me show that I'm not lying and that the worm is really controlled on a server, in this case, a validator. We can actually run another worm here that's in, in kind of watch mode and it's watching the worm on the left. So if I switch back to control the worm, I can control the, if I have focus on the left side. If I focus on the right side, I cannot. So you can actually see that the right worm is just mirroring what the left worm does uh, by basically just watching the, the accounts that are um, changed and uh, subscribing to the same account updates. Now, uh, so back to the statistics, so we got frames per second here. I'm building this with Bevy. Bevy is a super nice framework to build games with Rust, super fast, so we get a high frame rate here. Then here are the slots that are updating in the validator. We have a lower slot time than like the typical Solana validator. And then we see the transactions. At this point, we went about almost 13,000 transactions at this point. And we got uh, 13,000 uh, account updates as a result. So every time we send a transaction, uh, something will change with the account, right? And then uh, that new state is updated to the UI via a subscription. And we can see that there's only one pending at a time because you know we get an account update for the, each transaction all the, uh, really quickly. Then uh, time to formation, that means how long does it take from the client sending a transaction to the validator confirming that the transaction was handled and the state committed into the validator and then sending uh, the information back to the client. Um, so we don't have commitment levels. Um, we don't have finalized or confirmed anything like that. It's literally just like how does it, long does it take for this transaction to be done and the state to be committed. And you can see that that's super fast. And then uh, time to account update means how long does it take for the client to send a transaction until then it receives the resulting account update from that specific transaction. And also that is very fast. Uh, we cannot perceive um, the delay, right? So if I turn the worm, you, you saw, like, let me switch back. You can see that it's immediate. So if you look at the key presses, right, and the worm changing direction, it is immediate. Or at least it appears immediate. It's six milliseconds, seven milliseconds. Um, now, what I want to say, though, is I'm running this locally on my Mac, right? So you know, there's no network delay really because it's all on the same machine. And secondly, there's nothing else running right now in that validator. But it still goes to show of how fast uh, we can actually get with a Solana validator that is optimized for speed and low latency. And I hope this gives you a bunch of ideas now of what kind of games you could build uh, with this kind of validator and hopefully also gets excited about Lucid, um, which will, as I said, use this under the hood to make local development super fast so if you're interested follow me here on youtube or follow this playlist uh, to get more updates and thank you for watching